My parents taught me that where much is given, much is required. And I don't know why, but I've known since I was a little kid that I was here to make a huge difference. When I was 21 years old, my brother Scott and I started a business together in direct sales. And I remember setting the goal of saying I wanted to make a million dollars by age 25. It seemed kind of astronomical, one of those big, hairy, audacious goals. We made it happen. And by age 30, our business was doing over $20 million in annual revenue. I found myself in a position where I didn't really need anything financially, but I felt that feeling that I've felt since I was a little kid, that I was supposed to be out there making an impact. But did you see the shift that took place? Right, her thought process changed. And for all of us to really succeed in the people business, we need to make that same shift. We need to go from inner directed to outer directed from self-centered to others focused, from tight-fisted to generous, from nearsighted to farsighted, we need to move from being selfish to selfless. And think about it, that shift has to take place because think about this, as a leader, you do not exist without followers, right? As an influencer, unless somebody's being influenced by you, you're not an influencer, and so it has to be about them, it can't be about you because you don't exist without them anyway. I hope that you love what you do. I hope that you get excited about it. I hope that it wakes you up in the morning. I hope that you can share that excitement with other people because I've just found that people who enjoy what they do, they naturally excel at it, don't they? It's contagious. That passion, is that excitement, people will come to watch you burn if you're excited. That just is, if they love it. They just want to be around it because it's so rare. People want to see it. I was talking to my wife about that this morning. I said, would you have ever imagined in your wildest dreams that I'd be able to do this. To be able to come and to speak to groups like this, and my wife's pretty funny, she got a little smile on her face, and she said, Ty, in my wildest dreams, you don't even show up. <laughs> that explains a couple of things. I don't think you can fake passion. You know, it's, um, you know, we all, Everybody has a job. <laughs> he, he, he took that different than how you meant yeah. it, I think. You know, <laughs> I guess there's actors in the world, but. Yeah. Uh, He's had a rough experience, and so I don't. <laughs> I just got it. Oh. <laughs> we're going off course really quickly here. What were you saying? I don't think you can f fake passion. Uh, he said it again. I love it. <laughs> you see, invest is a proactive word. When you invest in people, what do you invest? You invest your time, right? You invest your care. You invest your knowledge. You invest your skill set. You invest yourself. You give to people. You serve people. You help people. You partner with people. This business, you lock arms with people. You match them energy for energy. You invest in people. And guess what? The people who invest in people are the people who end up having the most influence. Why? Because those people will follow you to the ends of the earth. Because every little investment is like a deposit in an emotional bank account. And it pays dividends for years to come. It makes the connection deeper. It causes them to buy into you. They see something in you that's attractive, that they want. You become influential in their eyes when we invest in people. Have you ever had a conversation with somebody where you did virtually all the talking? They asked you tons of questions. You probably left and went, that was a I great like that conversation. <laughs> I mean, that was so fun. I love that, right? We love to talk about ourselves. And so it's just that shift, right? Instead of making it about you, being interesting, wanting everybody to think you're cool, if you focus on being interested, people will love you for it. But here's the main takeaway. Leadership is not about you. It is about the people that you lead. If we can get over ourselves and realize that one thing, we become influential. We move people, we inspire people, we motivate people. That's the basis of it. Now let's talk a little bit about the skill set, about the blueprint, how you craft and, and share an influential story. To do that, we need to start with the definition of a story. A story is a reimagined experience narrated with enough detail and feeling to cause your listener's imagination to experience it as real. It's a lot of words, but I want you to just break down what, what we're really talking about. Again, it's about the audience. You want to tell a story in a way that they connect with it, that people engage with it, that people move with it. Let me give you a quick science lesson. In our minds, there are cells that are called mirror neurons. Mirror like a mirror that you look in neurons, and mirror neurons are amazing. Mirror neurons allow you and I as human beings to experience and feel other people's intentions, other people's experiences, and other people's emotions. 
That may sound very scientific, but that is how we apply empathy and intuition. That's how we put ourselves in somebody else's shoes. Have you ever had somebody really understand you? Isn't that validating? You, can, you know that they really get it. They understand what you're feeling. So our job as a storyteller is to tell a story in a way that activates the mirror neurons of the listener so that they can feel and experience what that story is all about. Because when they do, the aha moment, the solution, the takeaway, they automatically adopt it. So here's the foundation for influential storytelling. You don't retell a story, you relive a story. Because when you relive a story, your audience starts to relive it with you. When you relive a story, they experience something totally different. Your story is not just a narration, your story is an experience. Because ultimately, master storytellers, whether you're involved in speaking, selling, leading, teaching, it doesn't matter. If you can learn how to tell a story that moves somebody, you can be influential. It will enhance your communication as a leader. It will allow you to engage your audience whether that be your employees, your customers, your shareholders, whoever it may be, because you can frame your content in a way that's entertaining, that's applicable, that's tangible, that's relatable. From a teaching and training standpoint, it's gonna allow you to connect with people and make your points more memorable. From a branding standpoint, it's gonna make your brand more profitable and more prominent. From a sales standpoint, it's gonna allow you to connect and engage with your prospects so that they take action, they buy your product and move it forward. The truth at the end of the day is that in business, Whoever tells the best story wins. My message will inspire your audience, but more importantly, it will change your audience. They will leave a more influential leader than when they walked in.